As we head back to school, kids and adults are filled with that little thing called anxiety. It's real and we have to be aware of it. Dr. Tori with Pine Rest, let's talk about back to school anxiety. It's a very real thing, right? We have some uh, children and adults that come see us just in the fall for getting used to all of the anxiety that comes with these transitions every single season. So how do we manage this? Well, knowing what to expect is such a big deal. Uh, and so for kiddos especially, any opportunity to get into the school a little early, uh, see their desk, find their locker, meet their teacher, uh, really helps reduce what they're feeling that first few days in the classroom. And what if we try school for a week or two and we start having stomach aches and headaches and we just don't want to go? What would you say to parents? So that happens a lot, uh, right? And we certainly don't want to downplay real illness, right? But if kiddos don't have fevers and aren't really ill and it's just the nerves, honestly, the best thing for them to do is to still go. If they avoid school because of their anxiety, their anxiety is just going to get worse. That is a really good tip. Now let's talk about parents because I'm talking to a lot of parents who are like, oh, I'm so nervous my kid's going into middle school or, you know, last year we struggled. I know we're going to struggle this year. What would you say to just settle parents down? So it sounds like a cliche, but every year is new. Just because we had a, a difficult year the previous year doesn't mean it's going to be that way this time. Every year your kiddos are in school, the teachers learn them better, they understand the system better, you're more prepared as a parent. And so chances are it'll actually be a better year than the previous year, not worse. You know, I like that attitude. All right, so do our kids pick up on our anxiety and fear? They definitely do. In fact, I would say that at least... 25 or so percent of the kids that come see me, they certainly have their own anxiety, but it's made much more severe because their entire family's feeling anxious and nervous. It's not just the person who's in my office that's usually struggling with their anxiety. All right, so are there like just a few simple things that we can do? Is it about talking to our kids and just what do we need to do to just settle everybody down? So talking's good, right? We should also not catastrophize the year. It's not gonna be a terrible year. It might have some challenges, but it will probably be very good. Routines are great. Conversations are good. Let's prepare our school bags the night before instead of the morning of. It'll just give us more time, a chance to relax and unwind. How many kids do you have? I've got five at home. <laughs> so I can tell you're speaking not only as a professional, but as a dad who's in the trenches. Yeah, most definitely. A couple of my little ones get pretty anxious. And as an adult, we can get a little stressed out too. And so we certainly try to practice what we preach. And we use routines in the evening. We set things out ahead of time. We visit the schools even before the open houses happen so they can see the school without a bunch of other kids around. It just helps them get used to it. Thank you. You've calmed me down. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Make it a great day where you live.